Illustrator is one of the best software to use when it comes to working on a design with text. First of all, make a text box. Insert text and make sure that the color for the letters selected right now is a light one. This allows you to see the effects better. Choose the font type and size, which over here are Helvetica Normal and 72. Select it by means of the selection tool. Right click and choose the Create Outlines option. Right click again and press Ungroup. You can move each letter separately, shift them wherever you want. Their sizes can be altered by means of the bounding box. To add a 3D effect to the letter, select it. Go to the Effect menu, drop down to 3D and choose Extrude and Bevel. This opens a settings panel where you can choose the type of 3D effect that you want. Click the preview option and notice the change in the dimensions of the letter once you move the cube. Apply this process on each letter by varying their sizes and the types of effect on them. Add the same color to alternate letters. Fill the letter S, N, and S with blue with R93, G177, and B227. Fill in color to all three of them by selecting them together with the selection tool. Add green color to O and G the same way with R83, G184, and B72. Next, to create a background for this illustration, choose the rectangle tool and make one the size of the sheet. Fill it with a light blue color, and to make this rectangle go all the way at the back right click, go to Arrange and press Send to Back. To add an icon to the background, first paste a traced image of it on the canvas. In this case, it's a music icon. Remove its stroke, drag it to the Brushes panel, and in the options that emerge, choose Scatter Brush. This opens further settings of this particular brush type. From there, reduce its size, keep it fixed, change the rest of the two options to Random, move the sliders to as shown, and press OK to create it. From the paintbrush tool, scatter the icon on the image. You can shift the image as you enter through this brush by means of the selection tool. Place them according to your requirement. To show the distance or spacing between objects, you can even blur the letters. To do that, select the letters you want to blur, go to Effect, Blur, and select Gaussian Blur. Enter your radius. The greater it is, more blur is to the image. Over here, set it as 9.0 pixels. You can add these different effects and play around with it to reach to a better design in.